Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you've had a great day so far. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan. And as we get into the weekend, we've got ourselves a First Alert Weather Day for the opportunity for some rounds of heavy rain as well as some strong gusts of wind. Now, this will happen in rounds periodically throughout the day. At times, our downpours will be heavy. We'll also have the opportunity for some isolated flash flooding that could occur especially in low-lying areas of your yard or around typical flood prone creeks or lakes or rivers that you might live beside and we're going to have consistent wind gusts that at least make it up to about 30 to 35 miles per hour and there will be the opportunity for some of these to be as strong as 60 miles per hour. Now, here's a look at First Alert satellite and radar as we enter the second half of our Friday. The two areas that we're going to be keeping an eye out for for the development of low pressure, one of them you can see throughout the Central Plains in Oklahoma in Texas, the counterclockwise motion around the area of low pressure. This one is moving towards the Carolinas and in the Gulf of Mexico to the west of Florida, there will be another area of low pressure that develops. And as we get through the weekend, we'll see this increase of cloud cover and moisture from our south and from our west build into the Carolinas. But through the rest of today, it's gorgeous. High pressures in control and it stays that way through the rest of the afternoon. Now, what can we expect for Sunday? Our main threat is going to be heavy rain. There will be some downpours at times that are going to be very heavy. So if you're going to be out and about on Sunday, first of all, I would try and get any errands or plans that you wanted to take care of on Saturday. Maybe leave Sunday for a day to kick it around the house, take it easy, catch up on your favorite shows or laundry, because certainly once we get into Sunday, rounds of heavy rain expected. And there will also be the opportunity, a low opportunity, but the chance that we could have a gust of wind here and there that's upwards of 60 miles per hour, and there will be enough spin with this area of low pressure that there is a brief tornado threat, but that's for the counties that you see in green. So this is to the east of Columbia, to the east of Orangeburg. If we had a brief tornado, I would say the best chance for that's going to be in the PD, as well as through the coastal coast of North Carolina around places such as Wilmington and Oak Island. So this is where we'll be watching for the opportunity for one or two stronger storms and I'd say the chance that we need to be a little more focused on and worried about is going to be the opportunity of excessive rainfall all of these counties that you see in yellow on your screen, these are places where we could have occasional flash flooding, again, in low-lying areas that are typically flood-prone, like a backyard, by a creek, by one of our rivers. These are places where we might see a rise of water because of all of this moisture that we have headed our way as we get into Sunday. So here's Saturday morning, first alert future cast with wind gusts, cloud cover increases tomorrow throughout the day. If we pick up a stray shower here and there. I don't think it happens until Saturday night, but really our surge of moisture comes after midnight on Saturday and into the early parts of your Sunday morning. By the time we get to six, seven, and eight o'clock on Sunday morning, rounds of heavy rain out there all across the Midlands. Winds are going to be gusty at times already by Sunday morning, gusts upwards of 20 to 25 miles per hour. And as the center of circulation with this area of low pressure gets closer, notice how we see some shades of orange and red on first alert feature cast. This is an area where we have some heavy downpours. There could be some isolated flash flooding at times and some gusty winds, even as high as 35 to 40 miles per hour within some of these showers and occasional rumbles of thunder as they blow through the Midlands. You can see where a lot of these downpours stay to our east as we get into Sunday evening and Sunday night. And by the time we're waking up on Monday morning to start a new work week, we're dry, breezy on the backside of this system, but we'll be working with sunshine. As far as how much rainfall for us, a large amount can be expected. Very generous portions of rain with this low pressure system as it blows through the region. I think many of us have a good chance at two inches of rain here in the Midlands and even a little farther to our south, our friends in the low country through the Carolina coastline up into the PD could get closer to four, even five inches of rain before it's all said and done as we get started into next work week. So just keep in mind that rounds of heavy rain for our first alert weather day, as well as some gusty winds for your Sunday. But really, I'd say enjoy the rest of today. Make sure you enjoy Saturday as well. If you had to pick a day this weekend to do some plans and errands, definitely Saturday's your day. 
clouds do increase throughout the day. And then once we get into next week on the backside of the system, check out how much colder we get out there. Tuesday morning, upper 20s. Wednesday morning, 25 degrees for a morning low. Very, very, very cold air there in daytime high temperatures only around 50 degrees. So before you know it, we get back into a December like pattern. We've just got to get through this weekend with our rounds of heavy rain as well as some gusty winds. Make sure you're joining us for your latest updates. Meteorologist Vaughn Gaskin and meteorologist Eric Zernick will have an update for your evening and nightly newscast. Make sure you join us then so you can get your latest first alert forecast and any other time you need to check on the forecast, you can always download our app and check us out online as well. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan. I hope you and your loved ones have a great weekend.